Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series. My name is Ramz Altich, and in this quick video, I'll introduce you to this series and its purpose. Recently, Tats Plus published my course Ember.js Framework Basics, and as you can see, it was published on 6th of May. But the thing is, I recorded it more than a year ago, which you can see right in the first episode. Version I'm using there is 1.5, and I used Ember Starter Kit, which is not a thing anymore. A year is quite a time for such an actively developed framework as Ember.js, which currently nearing its 2.0 release, which is very exciting. Here are a couple of things that changed, which are relevant to this course. We use Ember CLI instead of ad hoc approach or starter kit nowadays. Controllers are going away and components are taking their place. HTML bars is now part of Ember, so we do not use bind adder anymore. Testing became much more approachable and enjoyable and comes right out of the box. No need to install and set up it manually. But instead of updating course or publishing boring errata, I decided to take hands-on approach. I'll develop study application I asked you to build in that course as an exercise. We call it Bookworm App, which helps to track books you're reading or plan to read. But we'll go further than that. Not only I cover all topics we covered in that course, but we'll also use this app to demonstrate other concepts like form validation, Ember data associations, testing libraries, and much more. If you want to stay updated on this series, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and share it with your friends, or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question, start a discussion or participate in one, go to my blog ramzalotik.net. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.